They do know in their hearts. I don't know if they know in their mind. This is the same thing. Who's the greatest in the room? Who gets the most? Who's the mother's?
Christ our sovereign King, who is the world's salvation, all praise and homage do we bring, and thanks and adoration. Christ Jesus, Victor, Christ Jesus, Jesus, Lord and Redeemer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear sisters and brothers and all the students, today we celebrate the feast day of the holy guardian angels. Guardian angels are always with us and they lead us to do God, God's work. And they are here with us as a spiritual companion so as to make ourselves that we are loved and protected by God's grace. Let's acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in an unfathomable providence are pleased to send your holy angels to guard us. Hear our supplication as we cry to you, that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their company. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, <clears throat> See, I am sending an angel before you to guard you on the way and bring you to the place I have prepared. Be attentive to him and heed his voice. Do not rebel against him, for he will not forgive your sin. My authority resides in him. If you heed his voice and carry out all I tell you, I will be an enemy to your enemies and a foe to your foes. My angel will go before you and bring you to the Amorites, Hittites, Perizzites, Canaanites, Hivites, and Jebusites, and I will wipe them out. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> the response is, 
The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. For he will rescue you from the snare of the fowler, from the destroying pestilence. With his pinions he will cover you, and under his wings you shall take refuge. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. His faithfulness is a buckler and a shield. You shall not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that roams in darkness, nor the devastating plague at noon. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. No evil shall befall you, nor shall affliction come near your tent. For to his angels he has given command about you, and they guard you in all your ways. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus answered, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm sure you are all familiar with the GPS. Your dad or your mom would use, if you are going for a long trip, you know, or even if you are going to the place where you have no idea where it is. The function or the kind of operation of the GPS is to take you to the place where you want to go first. And you need to obey to its direction. Otherwise, you are going to be lost. No. So when it, the GPS tells you, turn right, then you are supposed to turn right, not left. Then you are going to be in trouble. And when the GPS is telling, this, this is what you have got to go, you got 15 minutes to reach that destination. You got three miles to reach the destination. 
so you know how long you are going to take your time to reach the destination and you are very careful to the direction of the gps so it is really helpful and like 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 people like me the priest we are called to go to somewhere uh, for giving the last rite or someone who is sick they need a last rite so that really helps people like me so you can put on gps and you can go to the place where you can see the person who is in need of sacrament of the sick or the last rite so there's a great tool that god has given us through our human mind what happens with our spiritual world who is a gps our guardian angels are like gps our guardian angels are always with us our guardian angels tells us they tell, tell us how to go and where to turn where to stop how long is going to take so they are going to tell us in every moment of our life how we can make our spiritual journey and they want, they warn us you are not supposed to do that if you are going to be tempted with something they tell you you are not supposed to do that you are a good person you don't want to get into trouble you don't want to lose your track of your spiritual journey even if you lose out of your weakness they will take you back to the track and they will get you to the destination if you are cooperating and if you are not cooperating just like what happens with the gps is going to take you to another route and keeps on trying to get you to the destination and that's what they are so do the guardian angels are always with us they are always with us they always protect us and they always guide us to god so that we can be closer to god our guardian angels are taking our prayers to god so they are the carriers of our needs our petitions our prayers our guardian angels are so so helpful so wise so smart and they are always reminding us you are not supposed to do that our lord jesus christ had so many angels helping him when he went for 40 days of fasting and prayer they helped him at the end of that fasting time even the apostles were helped by the guardian angels when paul and his companions were in prison they were put into prison the angels freed them from the prison and made them to be come out of the prison on time and so many saints were helped by their guardian angels the so angels are always with us and they lead us towards god's presence and you may see one of our window ceiling the top of the ceiling you may see the guardian angel with the child with a boy or a girl we don't know but there's a nice picture nice uh, ceiling uh, window ceiling is a great way to see that guardian angels angels are always with you so each of you each of us have got guardian angels and they are always with us so that we are not losing our way to follow god and make ourselves to be holy all the times so we should pray to god in angels every day we should listen to their voice be sensitive to their voice and their guides that way we are always always god's children through the protection protection of the guardian angels 
Let us ask for God's graces through our prayers. That leaders of nations work to ensure religious freedoms, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. That pastoral ministers in the church do all that is necessary to protect children from any harm, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Prayers. That all who are suffering and who feel discouraged renew their trust in the mercy of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord that the prohibition of child labor be strictly enforced in every nation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor souls in purgatory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Past and present members of the altar society are being especially remembered at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy and loving Father, you always send us to protect our souls and ourselves by the guidance of your angels. Protect us and save us from all kinds of evil and harmful things in our lives. So that we may listen to our guardian angels and follow your footsteps that you draw for our salvation through Christ our Lord. to walk as a child of the light. I want to follow Jesus. God sent the stars to give light to the world. The star of my life is Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. I want to see the brightness of God. I want to look at Jesus. Clear sun of righteousness, shine on my path and show me the way to the Father. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable, God Almighty, Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all of His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you as we venerate your holy angels and graciously grant that under their constant protection, we may be delivered from present dangers and brought happily to life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
lift up your hearts. We have lifted up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you, deli you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory. And by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him, the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Therefore, this gives you praise by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of it, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chance and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the, chal the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles Thompson, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in our mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, St. Vincent de Paul, our patron, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co has eternal life, we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, Peace I leave, my peace I give you. Look not our sins for the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Take away my guilt. Oh. 
all the world is ransomed if one drop is spilled. Jesus, for the present, seen as through a mask, give me what I thirst for, give me what I ask. Let me see your glory in a blaze of light. And instead of blindness, give me, Lord, my sight. Let us pray. As you are pleased to nourish us for eternal life, with so great a sacrament, O Lord, direct us by the ministry of the angels into the way of salvation and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, I wish you all the happy feast day of the holy guardian angels. Well, great. Um, today we are going to start uh, the first Friday adoration and benediction. As you all may know, it is going to be at 2.15 here in our church. Um, for those who are preparing, I really thank you for your great help with the new beginning that we are going to have that with the grace of God, with the help of the guardian angels today. That's a great way to start that too. I really appreciate and thank uh, our uh, candor and musician, uh, Mr. Dale, our uh, video rec uh, recording uh, in judge person, and Dick and Dave for a great help. And we got a wonderful service. They did a wonderful job. I think this is their first time to serve. Okay. No, second time. Okay, second time I got it wrong. Okay. They did a wonderful job. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exules filieve, a te suspiramus, Eventes et plentes, in ac lacrimarum valle. 
Roma 